Hi everybody. So now we're going to talk about how to find experts, particularly academic experts, to interview. So on the Journalism 311 Research Guide, you'll see that I've put together a box on finding academic experts. It's one thing to find uh, people who are immediately affected by a story. You go to cover a fire, you cover a city council meeting, you cover um, the, the response to COVID, and you find people who are immediately um, associated with the event. It's a little bit uh, another step to find experts, academic experts in particular, or advocacy experts um, to interview, because that can give your story a lot more depth and a lot more detail. Now there used to be that you just called up a university, your local university, and asked the PR department to get, find you an expert. And people still do that, reporters still do that. However, now most colleges and universities have their experts listed online, and so it's considerably easier to find experts. So we're going to start here with the Cal State Long Beach experts on call. It's a relatively limited list, but growing. They revamped the um, database some a couple of years ago, and so it's taking a little while to repopulate. But it gives you the name of the professor, their areas of expertise, their phone number, their email, and if they have a website. Now, the University of California has put together a list of experts. They pulled together a list of experts on some topics that they get frequent calls on, such as wildfires and drought. So if I were to click on drought here, it would take me to a list of, of University of California professors and specialists on drought. And so you have the UC Berkeley, you have Davis, you have Irvine, UCLA. You can see that you can find any degree of expertise on drought. Now there's also a Google search that you can do for experts and it works fairly well. Um, you can either go to Google Advanced Search or you can go to regular Google. If you go to regular Google this is how you would do the search. You would put in expert and say I want an expert on COVID. Then the magic here is you put in site, S-I-T-E, colon, dot E-D-U. So that says I only want experts on COVID uh, from educational institutions. And we get 12,600,000 results. Um, there's a, there's a few ways that you can filter these results, but they are filtered by relevancy. So you can see Johns Hopkins, not surprisingly, comes up at the top. They have been a leader in um, COVID uh, information. We have Northwestern, UC Davis, UCLA. So you can find the expert pages on many university websites using this search strategy. Now sometimes, not sometimes, often you will need to find uh, an expert that you know has is on the more conservative side of the spectrum. And so the Heritage Foundation, a conservative think tank, has put together the a policy experts guide. And it's pretty straightforward to use. On the left, you can search by issue for US experts, per se, and then you can scroll down to the area that you're interested in. I don't think they have anything as detailed as COVID yet, but we could put in Medicaid or poverty and dependency, say. And then at the bottom, you can check a box that will only list those people who have testified before a state or federal legislative committee. It's another credibility a filter that get, says these people have enough expertise that a legislature has wanted them to testify. Then the other filter that I use is when I get my list, I then look for experts that are at universities. Again, to me, it's another recognition of their credibility and their expertise. So we'll see here that the um, okay, University of Alabama, David Beto, Douglas Bresheroff, Bresheroff at the University of Maryland, Barton College, George Washington University, Cleveland State. So there are many ac academic experts listed on here. 
but you know going in that they are going to have a more conservative expertise or perspective on the on the topic which is very good to have all sides represented in your stories now another way to find people with expertise are people who work for advocacy organizations they follow the developments uh, with their particular area uh, that they're advocating for they follow it very very closely and so it's good to be able to find out their perspective as well and so one of the ways that you can do this though you have to this is a matter of searching .org uh, websites, and .orgs are not quite as uh, clean as .edus and .govs. Um, so you have to, as you do with all websites, check the credibility, look at the About section for their mission, their board of directors, do your due diligence. But a way that you can use a simple Google search to do that is to do the same thing we did with COVID and site edu, except we change it to .org. Okay. Now COVID's not quite as um, doesn't have quite the advocacy organizations surrounding it, but um, you, you but you certainly can find some. And if you change your topic to say um, homelessness or police violence, you're going to find a great deal. A, a large number of organizations where you will be able to find people who follow a topic very passionately. Now, in addition to .org and .edu, um, I also mentioned earlier in an earlier video that CQ Researcher has a good um, set of experts on their top on the topics that they report about. You can do a news, a news article search and look for people that other reporters have interviewed. Think tanks and research organizations such as the Legislative Analyst Office that we talked about earlier, the Public Policy Institute, they're going to have academic researchers with expertise. So hopefully this will allow you to get a deeper perspective on the stories and get um, people with more expertise to interview. Thank you.